Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Book. Today I show you how I blow dry my hair. I hope you guys like this video and let's get into it. Okay, so I basically showered and I washed my hair like I normally would. I shampooed and conditioned, but at the end of the shower, I used cold water. I know it's like irritating to use cold water because you want it to be hot, but it really helps your hair to like be shiny. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to comb my hair out and I'm using a wide tooth comb. So the reason I'm using a wide tooth comb is because when your hair is wet, it's usually really, really sensitive. So you don't wanna pull at it too much. So you wanna start from bottom, do your ends first, and then start combing upwards. And that way you're not pulling on your hair or tugging on your hair too much. So I'm gonna go comb the bottom. And I'm just taking all the knots out in my hair. It's thin, but there's a lot of it. That's why it looks thick, but it's actually really thin. And my hair has like no volume. It's really hard for me to get volume because my hair is so flat, straight, and silky, which I'm not complaining about, but it does get hard to style it. So once I do that, I use this thing called the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump, and there is two kinds. There's this one, which is the Root Pump Plus, and then there's the Root Pump. I actually don't have a preference. Like I'll like switch between either or whichever one I grab first, I'll use that one. I think today I'm gonna use the Plus. So you're just gonna put this in your root. So I'm gonna start off by parting my hair in the middle. You're just gonna put it on your scalp. I'm gonna put my hand here so I don't mess up my makeup. And then I'm going to go in the next section. I'm going to shake it a little bit and then keep going. Okay, once I have all the root pump in, I'm just going to massage it through like my scalp. This does make my roots a little like, not hard, but it's not as silky. Like you can definitely feel a texture in it, but I don't really mind it because my hair is so flat. I'd rather have it have a little bit of volume than feel like hella soft. So I'm okay with it. So I'm just massaging it through my scalp and I'm just taking my fingers and I'm putting it through my hair and then just massaging it in. And now I'm just gonna comb it through to make sure that it's like evenly distributed like this. And now I'm gonna start blow drying my hair. The blow dryer I'm using is this one right here. I used to have like the yellow bird and I love that blow dryer, but I like they stopped selling it and mine broke. So I got this one, which is, I like this one too. I'm not that picky about my blow dryers as long as it's not those skimpy small ones. So first thing I'm gonna do is section my hair off and I'm gonna clip the rest up. Okay, and I'm just gonna comb it through to make sure that I didn't get any tangles. I have two brushes here. They're both from Chi and they're both dirty as hell. This one's just bigger and this one's smaller. I use this one for the bottom of my hair and then this one for like just my bangs. The more volume you get, the bigger the barrel. So remember that. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull downwards and then out. I'm gonna get the roots right up here and make sure they're kind of going outwards. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna put the barrel and I'm gonna wrap it once and I'm gonna hit it at the root. And then I'm gonna pull it down. I'm just making sure the root is dry. It seems pretty dry to me. And I'm just gonna do that like all the way up and I'm always turning my hair in, except for the top. I'm gonna flip that out, but everything else I'm gonna like Turn it in. I'm holding it with my left hand and blow drying with my right because my right is my dominant hand, so it's just easier for me that way. I'm gonna blow dry the root and pull it out.
now we're at the top. I'm basically going to be doing the same exact thing, but I'm just going to be doing it with a smaller brush. I'm going to take the smaller brush, and I'm going to put it at the root, brush my hair, and then roll it. I'm doing it the opposite way, like I'm pulling it down, so when I flip, flip the hair back, it has volume at the root. You'll see that? That's not natural. I'm going to continue that. putting my finger running my fingers through it to see if there's like any wet pieces or if I need to fix anything blow dry anything again I'm just setting you can put like your hair to the center or to the side part your hair I just kind of I don't really part my hair I just kind of leave it and see what part it makes I'm just gonna comb it through and the last step I do is take some Moroccan oil you can take any type of oil and I just put it on my ends and I'm only taking like Oh, that's a little too much. I'm only taking like that much, like a pea amount. Like it looks really good and it smells really good and it feels really good, but only use it on your ends because it makes your hair oily so fast, well, especially my hair. If you have like drier hair, then you should be fine. It's actually really good for your hair, but if you have naturally oily hair, don't abuse it. <laughs> and then if I want, sometimes I'll go ahead and run a straightener through it just to make sure that it lasts, but usually it does, so. A little background on my hair, I put like oil or some kind of hair mask on my hair at least once a week or I try to. That's why it has like that shine. But I worked really hard to like grow my hair out because I dyed it ombre and it messed up my hair. Like my ends were so dry, they were so nasty, they were just, they were so split. So I had to like, I cut, I stopped dyeing my hair. The only color, I, I dyed my hair but I stopped dyeing it lighter. I started dyeing it, I started dyeing it darker. So I dyed my hair jet black two times and now this is it's just this is the color that it ended up being. It's like black but it has like a little bit of brown in it in certain lights. But I usually yeah I try to put a mask in my hair at least once a week and do not wash your hair every day. It's actually really bad for you if you wash your hair every day because you're stripping the natural oils out of your hair. So you want to at least try to keep it every other day. Try washing your hair as less as you can. Like if you can go two days without it, three days without it, do it. Like I have naturally really oily hair, so I have to wash it every other day. But if you can go without washing hair, you definitely should. That's how I blow dry my hair and that's how I get volume without having to tease it and all that. And it actually doesn't feel that bad like the root pumper kind of makes it feel a little sticky but after you blow dry it and put a bit of oil in it's fine that's how i blow dry my hair and if you liked my video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel <laughs>